Poaching chicken is one of those things that should be super easy to do by anyone. But there are a few things that you can do to make it even better, just to get the best out of that chicken. Down below you'll find the full recipe for this poached chicken with other recipes you can use this poached chicken in just to have some fun with it. Check that out. So we are using some boneless chicken here. It's the easiest and fastest to cook this way just because the lack of bone helps to cook it more evenly. And we'll go on ahead and add that chicken into a large pot, fill that up with your water, and just keep in mind the worst thing you can do here is to keep that water plain, Jane. Because if you keep that water plain, you're gonna post the chicken, your chicken will be plain. If that's what you're going for, fine. But let's make it better. You'll still have your plain chicken with just some natural flavors. So you could, for instance, make like a sandwich or a salad. Just get that natural flavor in the chicken itself. So we'll season the water to help it out a bit. Add some salt, pepper, bay leaf, a couple pieces of garlic, a couple pieces of onions, chop that up, couple sprigs of cilantro. You can use thyme or rosemary instead if you want. And if you have lemons on hand, slice that up, put it in there. And now you turn the heat on high and let that water come up to a boil. Just keep in mind that once that water is boiling, you lower the heat just enough until it is simmering gently. This will help keep that chicken soft and prevent it from drying out essentially. Keep an eye on it, wait it out until that chicken is cooked, 165 inside. And when it is that temperature, just let that chicken naturally cool down slightly in that hot water. It'll help relax a bit, keep that moist, tender texture inside. And then after 10, 15 minutes, you can just take that out, shred it up, slice it up, and use it in whatever dish you are going to use your pulled chicken for. This is honestly my favorite way to just have some chicken ready when I have a busy week coming up so that I can put that in sandwiches, salads, or Indian dishes. And it's just perfect to have on hand. My favorite one is the chicken and guacamole bruschetta. Check it out and I'll see you soon.